But in the painting class, um, I think it's very important that the students know how to make their own stretcher frames and stretch their own canvas. One, because they control their creative decisions from the get-go. They can, you know, make it whatever size they want, whether it's large scale or small scale. And two, it saves them a ton of money. And so you, you determine the size, you stretch the canvas, you prime the canvas, and then everything else is up to you on what you create, and hopefully it's a good one. I describe my style or art that I do as somewhat organized chaosism. Um, uh, I don't know that it fits into any particular brand or style or trend and most of the time I don't start with pre preconceived notions. I don't do a lot of um, preliminary sketches and so I'm engaged in the process and I let the process be an equal partner in what I do. So sometimes paint drips, sometimes accidents happen and I like to try to meet that process somewhere in the middle. The reason I'm drawn to art is you know, quite simply I love it. I'm in love with the process of creating. I'm in love with uh, the idea of pushing paint around. I'm in love with the idea of getting surprised by the creative process, of getting lost in the zone of, of making something and not knowing how it's going to go or how it's going to turn out and just kind of seeing and watching it develop. It, it never gets old to me and, and each piece or painting that I make gives me new ideas for 10 or 20 new pieces. The content or the message that I have or strive to create in my artwork is is really up to the viewer. My goal as an artist is to get and hold visual attention. It's a natural transition to be an artist and a teacher. I think being a, a professor allows me to be a better artist and being a professional artist allows me to be a better professor. I can take my knowledge and my experience in the professional art world and I can bring that into the classroom and share my experience at, with the students and, and, and tell them what I've learned out there in the professional aspect of being an artist. And then being in the classroom allows me to go over the fundamentals of what it is to create art and, you know, rekindle those inspirations for why I do what I do. So I get to talk about art all day long and then I go home to the studio and get to make it. I am extremely biased when it comes to Derek's work because I absolutely love it and I think he's an amazing artist. I think as far as a teacher goes, he is probably the best one in the art department. I think he's really good with people and I think he's absolutely the sweetest guy and he's hilarious. Like, if you ever listen to him talk, he's hilarious. I think he's very encouraging and I think that's what teachers should be, especially art teachers, because no one needs encouragement more. What I enjoy most about teaching is seeing a light bulb go off in a student's eyes. Um, you know, some students come with, you know, very little experience. Uh, some students come in drawing and painting better than I do. Um, but when they reach that, that stride in their artwork where what they're wanting to do and what they're doing start to coexist and they start to really express their ideas and their concepts with a voice that is their own. I would like to see things happen in, in my career as an artist and a teacher um, continue. You know, uh, it's, it's very in, inspiring to, to work with students and have them get excited about what they're creating and what they're creating with their own creative process and voice. And, you know, I want to do that for as long as I can. I, ha I have a job that I planned not to retire from. I want to do this um, every day that I can. And then, you know, professionally, just uh, more exposure, you know, and having more exhibitions and more opportunities to share my work and my love and my passion with others. So uh, the more exhibitions, the better.